All right, in this video we're checking out the new 1S Whoop all-in-one flight controller for brushless motors. This is from Beta FPV, and you see it's got well, quite a lot less material here, so this is going to be lighter. And it's only 1S, built-in FreeSky receiver in this one, and they do have one with a built-in DSM-X receiver. This is an F4, and it has an OSD chip. Uh, I think it's 5 amps. Uh, continuous on the ESCs. So this ought to make a lighter build there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the weed is advertised without the battery plug on here, but I think it was like advertised for like 2.3 grams. And I'm thinking that this is going to be heavier with the battery plug on here, but this is coming in at 3.34 grams. So imagine this battery plug and wire is probably about a gram. And then um, I'm going to do a build. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try and get something uh, build a well down to like something really lightweight. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of different things here. So this is a build UR65 with the Beta FPV. These are the 19,500 kV 1S motors, uh, 0802 motors that I reviewed a while back. And this drone here, this little tiny boat, weighs 21.27 grams. And I built this one here with the Happy Model 0802 19,000 kV motors. This one's even lighter at 20.47 grams. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this down even more. Um, I'm using this uh, blue UR65 frame. I'm going to be using the ASI props instead of the gem fan props here. So let's just throw those on there. And they're on the board. Everyone on the canopy that I'm going to be using, and then this uh, all in one camera. And oh, well, the motors are in here, so I got to pull those off. But yeah, just those parts here are coming at 11.6 grams. So, whatever the motors are, minus the props, I'm thinking that'll be. I'm hoping I get less than this one, but I still have like this one is direct soldered, as you can see from that video. If I don't remember, but. These are these have the motor plugs, so mm, could potentially be even lighter. But um, we'll see what what it is with the motor plugs, and then if I think it could be lighter, then I might pull the uh, plugs off and direct star the uh, motor wires directly. I'm trying to get this as light as possible to get maximum performance. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to build this out, and we'll see what this looks like after it's built out. Okay, so uh, here it is all put together. Oh, these are pretty easy builds. I think I did a video on this guy a while back. I'll link that down in the description called Super Warp or something like that. You know, explain how the build goes. The process is the same. So you can see the boards in there. Still using the motor plugs. And this comes in at 20.45 grams. I think that's pretty close to this one. 20.47 grams. But keep in mind the differences. I'm still using the motor plugs on this guy, so that probably adds some amount of weight. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I'd have to desolder everything and then solder the motor wires on to give you an exact weight. But it's I messed maybe probably half a gram. You see here on this build, I I remove the plugs and I, I direct solder the wires, which is why this one weighs 20.4748 grams. And then this, this is basically the same build um, with the plugs, and you can see it weighs 21.55 grams. So it's about a gram in weight and difference just for the plugs, I guess, something like that. But also keep in mind that the board here is an F4, not an uh, F3. So both of these older builds here are F3s based on the Crazy Bee F3. Board and we'll have to see uh, how good this SPI receiver is. This is based on the Matek um, firmware or the a target from Betaflight, so I don't have any experience with that. But yeah, I suppose you could probably get maybe half a gram, three quarters of a gram off of there with the plugs off if you really want to get this even lighter. But we're gonna see how this goes because this is uh, 500 kV more than the other builds and then just for reference here's the newbie drone this is an acrobee 
Um, one of the later, one of the latest versions of the Acrobee, and this one here is coming in at 20.23 grams. And those are six millimeter brushed motors, not brushless motors. So getting these um, brushless uh, tiny whips almost down to the same weight as the newbie drones here, and they have probably a lot more power. I'm thinking the 0802 19,500 kV motors probably more power than these six millimeter brush motors. Anyway, let's go see what this uh, flight performance is like. It's probably going to be pretty similar, but now we have an F4, and I do, um, I, I am going to flash this to uh, Beta Flight 4.1, so let's see what that's like as well. Okay, so I'm just going to be flying this on the default PIDs on Beta Flight 4.1. Okay, hit something on the fridge. So, no tuning. Default kids. Whoops. I'm stuck behind the car. My low battery warning at 3.5 volts. A little bit too high. Not bad on just default PIDs. It could use a little bit of tuning, but it's totally pliable. A little bit of shutter there. I'm not sure what that's from. Let's uh, swap the battery. All right, trying a second battery. Oh, crash! All right, let's see how this does. Okay, that's much, feels a little bit better. All right, let's just see if I can't not crash this. Whoops.